The last year, our family has traveled the country in an RV and we had the most amazing experiences as a family and we just loved it. You can actually check out our channel if you're new to our channel and see our adventures uh, here on Living a Good Story. But we just got back this week and we saw that here in Salt Lake there is an RV show. And we thought how fun would it be for us to go and check out the newest, latest and greatest RVs and see which ones would be the best for family travel. Uh, so we're gonna go through and we're going to film our favorites that are best for a family. So uh, let's head on into the show. What do we do? I don't even know where to go. <laughs> I know. There's a lot of RVs. Wow. Lot to pick from. Tip. Just a quick tip. Carpet in the entryway is never a good idea. So it's a Sunseeker by Forest River. So it's a Class C with a 450. It's a Class C. It's a 3170 DS for 83,082. It's new. Brand new. We like this one because it's got bunks back here for the kids. So it looks like this is a single or a twin or a little bit smaller, but this probably comes out and makes it into a full. Yeah. Got uh, some nice bedroom. storage here. A queen bed with more storage up around it, which is nice. And then the bathroom seems like it's a pretty decent size. It's not bad. Hello. So this room here, this is the slide behind us where the beds are. These so would come in. So this whole area is on a slide. This to the very end, it looks like. And little curtains for privacy. You wouldn't be able to, like one thing I like about the bunks that are stationary is that everybody can put their stuff in there. And this one, like, I guess you could kind of do that. Um, one sink, it's a pretty big sink. Yeah, it is a good size sink. Not a whole lot of counter space here. Um, this is going to fold out into a bed here. Fridge. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not videoing that. Gas stove. This is probably going to pull out, make into a bed, and then this will make into a bed as well once you put the table down. And then Another bed up here. here. And this would generally, this would slide in for when you're driving if you want. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of beds in here. Yeah, I don't know that anybody would really put that many people in here. But I think this is a really good model for a Class C. I like having the bunks there. It feels really spacious in here. So I think this is a pretty good family RV here. Forest River, Georgetown. It's 35 feet long, which, man, there's a lot of room for 35 feet. Yeah, it seems really spacious for that. Let's see, base price is this one's a race here. city in uh, Roy, Utah. So this is a Class A. Looks like this probably comes down. Does that? Yeah, it's a, it's a bunk. It's a bed. This is a bunk. Oh, that's cool because that's really low. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty snazzy I like there. That a lot. 
So another bunk up above the cab. A lot of them I've seen in Class A's are higher than that. Yeah. But not as much room. And that came down really easy. It's pretty nice. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And I like in a Class A that, you know, these usually swivel and become part of the living room when you're not driving. So that kind of makes it nice for entertaining. Ooh, that is nice with full fridge. I'm sure these cushions come up and there's storage underneath those cushions. That's a bed. That can make into a bed. This looks like some nice storage here. Oh, it's not real deep. Some stuff in there, but not a lot. Yeah. Not there's not a lot of great. kitchen storage. But I do like all this counter space. I like how the stove is under here and it's completely flat. I do have like that, that much counter space. Uh, full fridge is super nice. The bunks for the kids, excellent. With the privacy curtains. Yeah, that's nice. Not sure why they need two ladders. There's a TV in there. Oh, there is? Oh, nice. Probably down below. Which is, in and my opinion, a detriment. And a little bit of storage underneath which is great. Some good storage here. Those are nice and thick. <coughs> There's six of those. You can have one of those for each person in our family. Yeah. It's a nice big closet and you probably have two of those. There's another one over here. And I'm sure this bed comes up. Do you want to check? No? I don't think so. No storage I bet underneath. I it's storage underneath there. Mm. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, here's some, here's some more storage. It's probably... A bit there. Shower's decent. Yeah, that's about the same size shower that we had. It's nice. Yeah. I was just thinking that's a waste of space, but now it's yeah, that's not. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. So this is actually the TV. A TV cabinet. Can you believe that's that? Pretty that's pretty rad. And then there's storage up here as well. That's kind of covered by the bed. It's a little bit dark. But. How long is this? So this is the 2016 Georgetown GTA 364TS. So this is, is this? almost yeah. the same model as the last one. This one's 36. This, one's 36. this is only a foot longer. It looks exactly the same. Except the bathroom. Well, the next one next door was a bunk model as well. Was it? Mm -hmm. This one right here was. So this one must have double slides here. This is a double slide here, so opposing slides. And then it has a second bathroom, which is pretty wild. I haven't ever seen that in an RV, like in a motorhome. Lots of storage down here. Is the storage the same? Or this one has more storage down at the bottom. storage under the bed? I don't bed? think so. No storage under the bed. It's probably out there. Let's see if the bathroom is the same. A uh, bigger shower for sure. Different setup here in the bathroom. So this is the Georgetown GTA 377XL. So, and it goes for 134. I really like this model. I don't love it for full-time travel because I kind of like having uh, dedicated beds where I don't have to make it into a bed every night. But if I was traveling just vacation-wise, I really do like this setup. Um, it does have the bunk up above the cab. 
which is really nice and it was really easy to get down. This will make into a bed, the dinette. And I just like how spacious this is and how homey it feels. I mean, look at this, it's just beautiful. This is a recliner, yeah. you know, it just feels very homey. And then the bathroom, very spacious. So like, I think that would be really comfy for um, taking trips and there's a lot of storage here. This is probably a model that's more for, you know, a smaller family, but I just think it's really nice. This one does have the countertops, so it will make into a flat countertop. Let's take a look at the outside of this one. I didn't love it. You don't love it? It just feels so yes. homey. No, it wouldn't be great for full-time travel, but I think it would be really good for um, vacation travel. I just feel like this one's more like for a couple. You've got a living room and a bedroom, and. There's not as much. It's so roomy and the storage. There's a lot of storage. Yeah, lots of storage under here. You can't really show all everything on these videos, or they'll be too long. But hopefully, the, as you guys watch these, you can at least, if you like it, you'll know you can go look at them. Somewhere. Yeah, you can. That's the propane. Get a, a, a bigger tour, like a more in-depth tour. But this goes all the way through here. In the storage. So there's quite a bit of storage. Yeah, this is pretty good storage and I like underneath. That those light up. You notice the lights are on? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I really like this one. I don't love the price though. This is uh, more for those who have a higher end budget. Like I feel like I'm in I feel like I'm in the Starship Enterprise here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, all these buttons. Look at the window. Make it so number one. Nice view. It would be so fun for me and Michael to be viewing the country together. Like We'd be holding hands. It would be We'd so cute. Like yes. We'd be like this. Hey, quiet down! That's really what would happen. Don't touch anything. This thing's expensive. <laughs> because it is nice TV up there. there. Big fridge. This is a residential fridge, so no boondocking with this thing. That means like dry camping where you're not at RV park. Nice counter space. This is amazing counter space here. Really nice. It's very homey feeling. Another big TV here. I'm not sure why you need both of those, but sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I got the same exact, but I have it on a. This would make oh, into a cool. bed there. This probably pulls out some storage up there. Bunks here, and then close them up instead of a curtain. That's kind of, I've never seen that where it's actually doors. I would put locks on there, put the kids in there, <laughs> lock it up. You would not. <laughs> yeah, put your yeah. dog in there. Where's the shower? Uh, we must have another bathroom. Oh, that, yeah, it does. It does have a small end table there. Good sized bathroom back here. Oh, washer dryer, nice. Very pretty bathroom. And then some good storage here. So yeah, I really like this. I don't, I don't love the price of it. Alright, so this is a Class A motorhome, so these chairs are going to swivel around, become part of the living room. This is a bunk up here, and I think it's on a motorized, it's gonna slide down. it slides down. This is nice where you can get water. 
vlogs. Yeah, I can be vlogging right here while we're driving. Keep the YouTube channel alive. This is probably bad. This is a bad one. Yeah, Dad's there. Good counter space. They were smart. Everything's flush here. The um, stove top is flush. Not a lot TV of. there. Like you notice, there's not a lot of cupboard space compared to some of the fifth wheels. Yeah. Just because they're not as high. Yeah, that's true, huh? But there's a lot of space underneath on these. Bunk beds. With doors, doors and curtains. That way you can have the option. This one has oh, a hello. Uh, well, hello. This one has a uh, one and a half baths, which is nice. Personally, like if I had a motorhome, though, I just think I'd want one bathroom and not use that space. Yeah. I'd rather have this as the bathroom, what another bunk there or something. Yeah, that would be nice. Two bunks. Yeah, that would be nice. I've never seen a motorhome with four bunk beds. Some good storage there. And this is a nice size bathroom. Nice shower. How many of those do you think we looked at? <laughs> it felt like a thousand. That place like, showed is the building huge. Was huge. The building is enormous. This whole thing was full of RVs. Back to back, packed. They all started looking the same. Yeah, totally. They started, it's kind of like, I don't even know what to show you guys because they all look the same to us after a while. Yeah, it's true. It was like, we'd go in it and be like, I don't know, I think we've seen this one before. <laughs> kind of tough. Yeah. So, so hopefully we gave you, a, we got a good array of family RVs. Different price ranges, different setups. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the tour and feel free to subscribe to follow the rest of our adventures and uh, message us or leave a comment if, there, if you have any questions or comments about any of the RVs we showed you. We lost our car. White, I know it's white. It's a white car. You guys see a white car anywhere? There it is.